Feed your heart good food. Take care of your heart. Tend your heart. Guard your heart. That is the most important thing for you to do in your life. You see, a lot of people don't give attention to their heart. But this is what God tells us that we need to focus on. You see, Proverbs 4.23 says this, Guard your heart with all diligence. Above all else, guard your heart because out of it flows the issues of life. That word issues is also translated out of it flows the wellspring of life. Out of it flows the direction of your life. The word um, issues is actually a word that kind of has the idea of a gate. That this, this, your heart is like a gate and everything that's coming out of your life and going into your life that's good has to do with your heart. Okay, so the Bible says guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of life. You see, do you have issues in life? Do you feel like there's a lot of issues that you're dealing with in life? Maybe you have issues in relationships. Maybe you have issues um, with other people. Maybe you have issues with your mindsets. Maybe you have issues in your relationship with God. Maybe you have tons of problems. So the tendency can be to try to fix all of the issues, to try to fix all of the things that are broken, to be like, you know, a mechanic trying to fix all of the problems, but never uh, solving the root issue. You see, I'm a landscaper. I love to share this analogy. When you pull weeds, you must pull the weed out by the root. If you pull the weed out and you don't get the root out, it might look like you got the weed, but that because that root is still in there, it's just going to grow back and it will grow back very fast. And so the Bible says, I want you to deal with the root. The root is your heart, the innermost being. The word heart in Hebrew is actually the word for your kidneys, your bowels, your gut, your source. It wasn't just the idea of the thing that pumps blood. It was the idea of the driving center of your life. You see, the heart and the mind in Hebrew times were not really two different entities. Like, this is your mind, this is your heart. You see... In Hebrew, when it speaks of heart, it's, it's the, the core of who you are. And so God says, out of everything, I want you to guard with all diligence. I want you to watch over. I want you to be careful with what you allow in your heart. And I want you to think about the nutrients that you're feeding your heart. Because out of your heart will flow the issues of life, will flow the wellspring of life, will flow the direction and the course of your life. The course of your life can be determined by the state of your heart. Put that in the comments. The course of your life can be determined by the state of your heart. So that's why it's so important to guard your heart. You see, a lot of us, we focus on the issues in life instead of the tissue, which is your heart. The tissue of your heart is what we need to patch up and focus on. Instead of the external issues, we need to focus on the internal tissue, the tissue of the heart, the the source of your life. You see, before I really was walking with the Lord, um, I dealt with so many different issues in my life. I dealt with so many different obstacles, so many different negative mindsets, so much depression and anxiety. And it was because I kept trying to like get out of it by myself, but I didn't focus on my heart. I didn't focus on what I was feeding into my life. Now, how do you guard your heart practically? You see, when I started to change the things I was consuming, to change the way I was seeing things, to change what I gave my attention to, I started to realize that a lot of the issues in my life started to fade away because I focused on guarding my heart, taking care of my heart. Because when your heart's in the right place, things that are issues no longer become as frustrating because you have peace, because you have joy, you have the fruit of the spirit in the midst of those issues. And so here's how you practically guard your heart. This is how you think about what's going into your eye gate. You have different gates and this is how different things get into your heart. Something goes into your heart because it's going into the gates, the gates of your eyes. What are you looking at? What are you using your eyes to see? What kind of media are you taking in? What kind of videos are you watching? What kind of things are you looking at? Where's your perspective? 
You see, God says to guard your heart is so important. The way we got our, guard our heart is we have a healthy eye. We have an eye that's focused and it dwells on things that are pure, lovely, honorable, acceptable, worthy of praise, commendable, excellent. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 8 to dwell and think on these things, to have our eyes focused on these things. The Bible says in Proverbs to let your gaze be straight before you. Don't look to the right or to the left, but keep your eyes on Christ. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the things of God. The second gate is your ear gate. Okay, think about what you're listening to. Be careful what you hear. Be careful the music. Be careful the voices. Be careful the people that speak into your life because those thoughts will start to come into your heart. It doesn't mean we're supposed to be a monk and cut ourselves off from the world. We're in the world, but we're not of the world. But we do have the ability to focus on what we want to listen to. What type of voices am I listening to? Am I listening to the voice of the Good Shepherd or am I listening to a stranger's voice? Am I listening to sound doctrine or false teaching? Am I listening to the things of God or the things of the flesh? Be careful what you hear. You see, these are the two gates, the eye gate and the ear gate, that allow things to enter into our heart. Now, how do you know the state of your heart? You know the state of your heart by your mouth gate, because the Bible says, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. If you look at your vocabulary, if you look at the things you talk about, if you look at the things you speak on, that can actually be a revealing factor to where your heart's at because out of your, the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. So the ear gate and the eye gate are how things get into us. The mouth gate reveals what's already been in our heart. I want you to just think about your eyes, your ears, and your mouth because those things will help you assess the state of your heart. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Jesus died on the cross. The good news of the gospel is Jesus died on the cross to give us a brand new heart. Once we had a heart of stone, we had a heart that was hardened by sin. But Jesus died for us, rose again, defeated death, and said, I want to put my spirit in you. I want to give you a new heart, a heart of flesh, a heart that's tender, a heart that's pure. Because blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jesus loves you. Guard your heart, though. It's so important. I can't talk about it enough. Guard the tissue, and that will solve the issue. All right, God bless. Hope this blessed you today.